Vayikra, Leviticus 17. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Aharon and unto his sons, and unto, and unto all the children of Yasharael, and say unto them, This is the thing which Yahuwah has commanded, saying, What man soever there be of the house of Yasharael that kills an ox or lamb or goat in the camp, or that kills it out of the camp, and brings it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, to offer an offering unto Yahuwah before the tabernacle of Yahuwah. Blood shall be imputed unto that man. He has shed blood, and that man shall be cut off from among his people. To the end that the children of Yashara'el may bring their sacrifices, which they offer at in the open field, even that they may bring them unto Yahuwah, unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, unto the priest, and offer them for peace offerings unto Yahuwah. And the priest shall sprinkle at the blood upon the altar of Yahuwah, at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, and burn the fat for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And they shall no more offer at their sacrifices unto devils, after whom they have gone a whoring. This shall be a statute forever unto them throughout their generations. And you shall say unto them, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Yashara'el, or of the strangers which sojourn among you, that offers a burnt offering or sacrifice, and brings it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly to offer it unto Yahuwah, even that man shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Yashara'el, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eats any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eats at the blood and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. Therefore I said unto the children of Yashara'el, No soul of you shall eat blood, Neither shall any stranger that sojourns among you eat blood. And whatsoever man there be of the children of Yashara'el, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, which hunts and catches any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall even pour out at the blood thereof, and cover it with dust. For it is the life of all flesh, The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Yashara'el, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eats it shall be cut off. And every soul that eats that which died of itself, or that which was torn with beasts, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger, he shall both wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. Then shall he be clean. But if he wash them not nor bathe his flesh, then he shall bear his iniquity.